back to binary jazz uh it is the last episode of 2020 uh and it is our holiday episode because i think when this reaches your listening ears it will mm-hmm. be in fact christmas day so this will be our christmas gift to all of you assuming that i schedule things <laughs> properly we did not keep the receipt <laughs> Yes. We that's hope true. you're sitting down with some good, good nog. Um, oh, I'm glad you said nog and not eggnog. I feel like that's like such an appropriate shortification. Abbreviation? What is that? That's a, there's a well, word I'm looking like for and I don't have it. If you do the vegan version, it's not really eggnog, so. Oh, that's nog. also a good point. Yeah. <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah. Um, it is episode one one zero one 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 uh we've been through many ones this year i don't know how many exactly but many um we do have a a holiday surprise at the end hopefully i love surprises well it's not a surprise for us it's a surprise (laughs) for our listeners it's a new thing that we've never done before um and they never do again uh, maybe (laughs) Um, and yeah, it's the last episode of season three of Binary Jazz. Because Damn, is that right? Because our seasons align with the years, because we started after. Because I mooned you on Twitter. Around, around. Three ish years ago. Yeah, three ish years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be, we'll be heading into season four. So we'll take a break and then uh, we'll be season four of Binary Jazz with there episode was a point. 111. Zero 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 will be the beginning of season four. There was a point where I thought we were becoming adversaries, the early days of binary jazz, and it just hasn't worked out. That was sort of the maybe it uh, hasn't on your end, but yeah, it'll do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that was how this was kind just of just out of picture as a dartboard with my face on it. <laughs> was kind of how this was pitched was that we were like opposites on some sort of spectrum, and that we would have uh, wildly contrasting opinions about things. Well, that was the whole idea was that you seem to disagree about everything on Twitter. And now it's just the facade has, has dissipated <laughs> and you're really <laughs> very agreeable. I mean, to be fair, Gary's always wrong. So <laughs> it's, you know- It's when, kind of my shtick. Yeah, so. <laughs> When we're coming up with that would, explanation that would be for things, shtick, because obvious. then when you really are wrong, you're like, "Oh, it's just what I do." <laughs> By the that, way, keep that I'm bar Allison. low. I'm Allison. That's Gary, and this is Chris. Thanks, if Allison. <laughs> we're on the internet, and you can find us. Let on me do the us. Well, this is what happens when we get into the knock before the episode starts. Yeah. I was wondering if there is a. I was wondering if there's a dot jazz. Uh, TLD, like maybe we could maybe we could move to binary dot jazz or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes. I should look. There's there's so many Depending stupid on the, on the price tag. Yes. That's true. There's so many stupid uh, top level domains now that I can't keep track of of what exists and what doesn't. Like I really want dot LDS to be a thing. Um, mm-hmm. Like not because of not because of Latter Day Saints. I mean. Uh-oh. Yeah. They can have it. That's fine. I'll, I'll let them have it. But be, so that I can do R E Y N O dot L D S, and then I can be oh. at R E Y N O dot L D S. Of course, hmm. now that I say it out loud, it sounds like I'm just advocating for Latter Day Saints. Yeah, I know. It's a bit. It's a bit confusing. <laughs> I think that's prox- your proximity, though. I think if you said L D S around here, I think people would be like, "What? What? Yeah." Yeah, it's yeah. not that 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 drug on the stamps. Yeah. That's the ones with the blue JW on the building because they're huge around here. I feel like I know because I have kind of like a Mormon branch of my family Ooh. of like the rebranding of LDS. <laughs> um, but 
I don't know. I don't know if most people know. Well, we aren't most I, people. I didn't realize that I too had a Mormon branch of my family um, until <laughs> kind of recently um, because uh, my grandfather, biological grandfather, uh, is or was LDS and was from Utah. And I oh, think maybe yeah. I even knew he was from Utah at some point, um, but I didn't at the time that I knew that I didn't I didn't associate Utah with with LDS yeah. like it was yeah. high school or, or earlier. And it was just like that. That word didn't mean anything to me um, until I moved here. And then, like, whoa, OK, <laughs> that's a that's a there's a whole thing over there. So um, how are you all feeling? Oh, man. Yeah, that sums it up. Conflicted. <laughs> yes, Conflicted. Do, you have, do you have breaks coming up? Do you like, like this is my last day for two weeks of, of work. So I'm heading into a, like as, as so, binary jazz breaks, so too will I. <laughs> uh, I have blocked some time off for myself in the coming weeks. Um, I might be wrapping some stuff up on Monday, Tuesday, but I anticipate hopefully being done either by today or Monday. <laughs> um, it kind of depends on when I get things from the client, but we'll see. Yeah, I'm taking next week off, but then I'm working the week after. I love working on New Year's Day. Mm. It's uh, because nobody a time else when is no there. one is in the office. Yeah, there is zero chance of anyone with any ideas interrupting. That's yeah. good as long as you have work to do, but if you're like just sitting there, and don't have tasks, then what? Oh, the good news is I- you got uh, stuff. I have so many opinions and things yeah. I want to try in this code base. It's like- I was, it's I was like, gonna say. Like where I sit always... right now, it's just this beautiful rolling field in front of me and I can prance wherever I want and <laughs> see what happens. And some of this code, like I may never, may never make it back in, but that week outside of my regular tasks, I have like several things I want to try. Uh, I I had some GraphQL stuff. I had originally planned to take the week after off, um, since uh, solstice and Christmas are in the same week this year. Um, mm -hmm. I had planned to do it because, like, what are you going to do if we're not if we're not going anywhere? Then what's the point of having extra time off? Um, but but I was encouraged to like actually like let's like if we're not going someplace, let's actually try to do fun things over the break and like let's take the time to do stuff and like make it a point to do stuff so um yeah. i took an extra week and, and we're just gonna try to like you know make the most of it and do things that we wouldn't do otherwise and like just you know actually staycation it um as mm -hmm. much as we can we it's 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 a week out so a little touch and go but the forecast is showing a potential of snow on christmas which would that's your, probably that would be your first mind. white christmas yeah um, I, I've been to Ohio, um, for years. That's not the correct answer to that question. The correct answer is yes, it is my first. No, I don't think so. Because it, like, there, like, does it count if it was like, it was already in the ground on Christmas when I was a kid? Uh, I guess that was white Christmas. It didn't snow on Christmas. Yeah, that's that is magical. Regardless, it will be for Waking my kids. And, and I, I would be just so over the moon happy if it snowed on Christmas. Like Good. that would be just a beautiful gift from the universe. So there's that. So that everyone, that everyone uh, make, send their, their, their wishes and hopes for uh, a white Christmas for Gary and his family on Christmas day. Gently fling your energy fling towards it. snow. And or snow. Roll it out into the universe. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we signed yeah, up man. for some, some uh, solstice thing over the weekend it's not actually on monday but it's like friday saturday sunday it's like a bunch of like music and lectures and ritual things and that's cool yeah i'll find the link i guess and, and share it because it's on aaron's computer i think hmm. um, i my plan this weekend is to kind of create a menu of like varying energy level things i can do and so then every day i can choose kind of like an appetizer a main and a dessert nice. from my my it's thing awesome. it, it could be anything between like go for a long walk or like lay on the couch watch a watch yeah. a movie yeah. um depending on how i feel so yeah we got um 
so I have, um, so this is the also the last week of the virtual retreat uh, at Human Made. Um, That's and, been going on for a long time, no? Like six or seven weeks, yeah. So, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I was like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> well, because, because we weren't able to do stuff, we weren't able to do stuff in a dedicated week. Um, yeah because there's other shit that people have to do. So we kind of spread it out. Um, and over the course of that, um, I was gifted with a uh, subscription to Board Game Arena. Um, oh, nice. Because I was to, supposed to like help host uh, one of the game sessions that we were doing. Um, but it's a year. Um, and it's not even that expensive. It's like 25 bucks or something. So it's not that bad. Um, but so now I have a way to like play games with um, people in the family. So we're thinking, we're thinking of doing that over the break with people who like to, to do board games. Um, and then I recently, um, we also have like an end of year, it used to be like just an end of year meal where we just got a big chunk of money um, or could expense like a really nice meal to take out our family or take, go out with a bunch of other humans and like do stuff. Um, but, you know, I live away from everyone else. So I can't really do stuff with other people. So it's like, it's also, you know, if you're not able to do that, then do stuff with your family and take them out on the company and now it's more like it's broadened to be like well here's some stuff and do something nice with your family whatever that means um mm -hmm. so we're still going to do like a nice dinner but it's just gonna be probably like a takeout for the four of us but um i have spent part of it on getting just a shit ton of uh jackbox games um nice. and jackbox mm -hmm. is the company that's like you don't know jack so like i have yeah, a yeah. crap ton of those now plus the board game arena so we're hoping to like play some you know games over the break i picture this like whiteboard or like poster board with like keeping keeping track of stats and like who's winning <laughs> <laughs> like an overall champion family championship oh there's that that whiteboard is very boring because because aaron's name is always at the top so <laughs> i mean i might i might do better on on jackbox we'll see we have been uh playing um, clue recently mm. and like Katie has been winning 75% of the games standard clue mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yep which like are you starting <laughs> no I no I mean I no I I'm it's just it's impressive I'm like what what black magic are you using yeah <laughs> like, I, but really I mean there's the very intuitive I mean, I, I'm certain that it's like she asks a question, right, in a room, and she's eliminating. But I'm, I think she's also, like, trying to read her opponents and see, mm -hmm. like, how they react. Mm -hmm. React with two Ts. Uh, and, um, and then make no, makes notes of that as well. Mm -hmm. uh, but I don't know if she's, like, actually making the notes or she's just like, oh, yeah, you have the knife, uh, but you also have Mrs. White, even though you didn't say it because I could see how you reacted. Like, it's it's something to behold. Like, especially when she beat me in like five moves last night. Like, she's like, I'm ready to make an accusation. What? How? And she was like, I, I won. Okay. That's All right. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. And what you think it's going to be like an hour, hour and a half of like solid family time is like 10 minutes. It she's was. Like, she's like, let's wrap this up. <laughs> it was. And she's like, can we play again? I'm like, yeah, I guess we better. <laughs> maybe maybe you need the master detective version with yeah. additional rooms, weapons, and characters. Yeah, yeah. I used to have master detective, and that's that's intense. We have. Um, uh, How long does have, that take to play? I don't know. We have the Harry Potter clue now uh, in the house, which is actually better than I had expected. Usually, those like themed, like branded things are kind of like chintzy. Um, but the Harry mm -hmm. Potter clue is actually, I mean, it, it's, it's all the same things of the normal clue. Um, mm -hmm. The difference is that like, I think the rooms, like some of the rooms rotate. So the way that you move around uh, the board uh, changes because the rooms change. Yeah. What are you, what are you grimacing at down there, Gary? I, I was thinking about the, the rooms moving around and what a, what a weird mechanic yeah. that would be because yeah. you're like almost to where you need to be and like, oh, no. <laughs> No, I'm also looking at Master Detective, and yeah. uh, it's pretty slick. Yeah. Uh, do we have a topic today, or is just the holidays our topic? <laughs> we do, but like whatever. You may may or may not know it. I don't know. 
This is a, a that, is, that is the point of the show. I, mean, I know, but this is a hail mary of a topic on my part. That's why I, I feel like <laughs> it's defenestrate. Defenestrate or defenestration, I guess, depending on what. God, I know that word. F I don't know what it, I've, I've heard that word. N e s t r a t i o n. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Defenestrate. Yeah, I've heard that before, but why? Uh, so have I. Yep. Yep. Sure have. <laughs> I. But now I'm worried that I've heard it, and it's like something unto words. Is it something unto words? It's not it defecate, towards? Gary. It's a different no. word. No, defecate. I mean, I rarely bring, rarely, never br yeah. bring like X-rated topics. To yeah. The table. No, th this oh show. no, I didn't think X-rated. I was thinking more like. I mean, out tronking was on me. I, I made, <laughs> yeah, I that was mostly I made, just. Sex. I made tronking bad. <laughs> I will take After full responsibility. Podcast, Robin, always, Robin always asks me how it went, and I'm like, I don't know. I think it took a different turn today. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Full responsibility um, for the Pornhub <laughs> rap hole that we went down uh, for pronking. I love it. Listeners, if you haven't uh, listened to a previous show, uh, we were talking about episode something a few episodes ago where we were discussing pronking. Yeah, that one's not a family friendly episode. It's all bad. I don't know if anyone's, again, gathering around a. A fireplace. fireplace. I can I can just imagine like okay, let's gather around the fire kids and we'll listen wow. to an episode of Binary Jazz. Merry Christmas. With an old Sylvania tube powered radio, we kind of come into that warm old, old timey voice because how would you? How that's how it's happening in my head. How would you get Binary Jazz on that radio? Like, well, you would take your iPod and you plug in an FM transmitter. <laughs> An FM, transmit, an FM transmitter would work. I was thinking DC that inverter in your car, but your car's not in the house. But, but, but FM transmitter is probably the most accurate, yeah. Yeah, are there AM transmitters? Because that would probably give it like a nice... I'm crusty. sure there are. They're, they're almost yeah, crusty, yeah, correctly. Have to be. Well, since I happen to have the internet open over here looking at Master Detective, I will Master Great. Detect AM transmitter. Defenestration. Um... All right, since I don't know the actual, I can't think of the actual uh, meaning of the word, I will just say uh, defenestrate. To defenestrate or de the act of defenestration uh, is when you are, uh, when a president is uh, trying to cover up all the bad shit he's done over the last four years uh, before he gets booted out of office. You're just trying to defenestrate. Like, look over here. Like, um, none of this happened. <laughs> well, let's let's break it down a little. Like, would that mean that the last four years have been the act of fenestration? Yes. I was trying to undo that. No, I mean, yeah, no, not necessarily. What is so fenestration? It's, it's more like it's more comes like from the root word fenis, right? <laughs> Which is. <laughs> This is this has thinking, always worked for me. I was thinking more that it was like a uh, derivative of like defend and administration. So defenestration. It means to remove something. I think it's like dirt from a wound. Sure. 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 Defenestrate. I'm I, the spot it, that splinter went in. I don't so, know. So 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 little little Timmy, I, I you scraped up your knee. We need to defenestrate the wound before we can put the <laughs> before we can put the 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 neosporin on it. Unrelated to anything. There's a cat in my basement. And I have to tell somebody about it because not your cat. So, no. Nope. We were out so we went out Sunday. The, the basement has a garage door. I don't know why you'd want to park your car inside underneath where you live. That seems like a way to suffocate, maybe. Um, so we don't do that. Also, it'd be crazy. Like it's not. I don't. I don't, I don't know why the garage doors are. You can't even get a car down and turn it in unless it was. I don't know, whatever. Um, so we were out like riding bikes on Sunday, uh, and then uh, closed the garage door when we came in, and that was it. And then so the garage door you know, is open while you were out. Yes. So Wednesday I go down and there is a turd next to a wall. I'm like, that's weird. And I go <laughs> I'm upstairs. Glad that's your reaction. 
That's so I'm odd. I said around it like, has Max been in the basement? Like, I know the answer is no, but I also am not master detective, clearly. And uh, yeah, Katie would have been right on this. <laughs> Katie been like, there's a cat there. There's a cat. Like, yeah. uh, and it's like right on the kid's bedtime. I'm like, I think there's a cat in the basement. Rhonda's like, how? I'm like, well, we had the garage door open Sunday, maybe then. She's like, oh my gosh, it's probably hungry. I'm like, probably pissed. <laughs> it's probably pissed off. So I got a flashlight and like, probably pissed you know, in too, and that you probably smells yes. not good. Yeah. Yes. There was a puddle of that too. Um, so I got a flashlight and like we, you know, we moved back in July and we've, we've, we've a lot of empty boxes and is it living in a box? Thrown out. No, uh, uh, I'm looking around and there's like the stand that the uh, washing machine used to sit on and it no longer does. So I moved the stand against the wall and lean against the stand is like a card table and chairs that we use on occasion. So I like pull the table back, look, and there's this cat. And we were both equally shocked to see each other. I'm like, how am I gonna get this thing out? And it was like, like I started to like come towards it and it was like backing off. I'm like, I am not gonna get like beaten up by this cat. So I get a rake like to coax it out. Like I'm not gonna, you know, hurt it. So I coax this thing out. The coaxing took a little while. Uh, and I open the garage door and I'm coaxing it towards the door and it runs and it dives in another box. It's not even a box, it's like a cubby where the kids can store toys. So it dives in there and I'm pulling it out. And it's like, you know, it's like the soft plastic rake. It's not I'm pulling the cat out. It's batting at it, hissing at it. And then, like, and as soon as it realizes the garage door is open, it turns and just starts to like walk angrily away as a cat does. Like, like I'm doing this my I know when I'm not welcome, I'm out of here. And marched right outside. So then I had to clean up the cat poo and probably still some cat treats down there. I tried to coax it out with it didn't work. And the coaxing was a whole other thing. Have you seen but, it since? No, but the lady across the street feeds like stray cats and there's one that lives underneath the car. I was, gonna, I was gonna ask if it was feral. It sounds like it was not yeah. overly socialized. Nope, nope. Or at least uh, wasn't, wasn't a fan of you. <laughs> Yeah, or, or not that. socialized um, with Gary. I, I the other the other takeaway that I had with that with that story was that um, Gary is not would not do well with cats. It seems we have one. I love I love your cat because that's true. So yeah, your cat is super old and super cranky. That's great. So he 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 has had this thing where he's been yelling at night, uh, and a few nights ago, he we were, we were put Katie to bed and he hopped in bed with her. And she was like, can he stay in here with me? We're like, well, yeah, but we're going to have to leave the door open because he's going to need to get out. And he slept there the whole night with her. So mm -hmm. now it's like, let's leave your door open a crack so Max can come sleep with you. And he's happy. And I think it's because the bed's a little lower, you know? Mm. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he's not like wandering the hallways yelling. He's like, man, this is a cool spot. But it's also close to... Um, Close to his litter box and the food, not really close. It's, I mean, it's close, like closer and feet closer. So I don't know. He seems happy. Like, yeah, I'm gonna take that as a win. Kendra used to used to yell at night, but it was um, she's had seemed to have um, vision problems. Like even when she was younger, she seemed to have vision problems. She seemed to have poor eyesight. So we think that she was like basically half blind. And then as she got older, she seemed to get confused more or like get lost more. So like half blind and like maybe like like cat Alzheimer's or something, just like confused and disoriented. So it's like, <clears throat> hey, where is everyone? Where is everyone? We call that me we where call that me Alzheimer's here. Yeah, the Alzheimer's. <laughs> yeah. Um, because we would, you know, be like, oh Kendra, and then she'd like then she'd stop and she'd come over and find us. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah. What are you gonna do, you know? Yeah, I mean, speaking of, nope, that was Charlotte. <laughs> I, I thought it was a bird, and I was like, I'm very confused when about it. Like a parrot. Yeah. Oh, there is there has been a lot of yelling in the last couple of days. Like it's, I don't know. It just Vacation seems to be that. Vocal Maybe, cord yeah. experimentation. Yeah. Uh, so defenestration. Mm. <clears throat> Gary, defenestration. How would one defenestrate? It it means to remove a cat from one's basement. <laughs> that was gonna that was gonna <laughs> down. Yeah. Um, 
So there's, <laughs> there are things that you can do with feral cats uh, to make them not freak out at you. If you can, like, wrap them up in blankets, uh, like, like cocoon them, sort of. Then, no, like a kind of like a swaddle. Yeah, then then that will calm them down. That's what that's what a lot of the the like like um, there's all these pictures uh, from like our the family that fostered our cat and um, our kitten um, when she was a kitten. But all, uh, that like you know you see these these cats that are all swaddled up, um, and and yeah, so that, that's 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 how you like get them to sort of relax, and then from there you can start to socialize them. So like. What you could have done is like instead of like using the rake and kind of is like get a like get a big blanket or a towel or something and try to try to wrap the cat up and <coughs> yeah the, the definitely like you would want like gloves or something to like for the initial part but then you could probably pick it up and take it out. Um, and this this uh, this like cadre of cats across the street like it's I've seen as many as six or eight over there. Um, but the first Sunday we were here, two were hit by a car. So I'm like, I remember you mentioning that? Yeah. So it's like with this lady, like it's cool that you want to feed him and all, but also, like, and the yeah. other thing that we would do is take the cat to the local humane society or whatever and get it fixed <laughs> before yeah. letting it house. I I looked into that, and I think they charge like 25 bucks a cat here to do that, which yeah. like. Okay. I don't know. I, I guess I'll see how it is in the spring. And if I need to get serious about it, I'll spend a few hundred bucks and capture and release cats, I guess. Well, it seems like uh, your basement's the place to be, so. I'll just put cat traps in the basement. <laughs> I think I, the, the only way I see the ending is like. basement just is a cat trap. I don't think you need to like do any external things. <laughs> I mean, probably, it was probably like, oh, this is warmer than yeah. outside, yeah. you know, and look at, there's all sorts of places to hide. Like, I mean, like, like, I get it. If I were a cat, I'd be like, oh, shit, the jackpot. And then when that door closed, like, this wall was not here previously. Yeah. Like, that'd be yeah. a sucky feeling. Well, oh, first, that's a really loud noise. And then that wall wasn't there. <laughs> Can you yeah. imagine, like, just, like, just visualizing this from, like, from, like, 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 like you could almost play it out like a scene in, in a role-playing game. Here we are again on Friday. Um, <laughs> like you enter a room, you suddenly hear this loud cr crashing noise. You turn around and that door you just walked through is not there. What do you do? Well, I guess I hole up oh, in a I box wanna... somewhere. <laughs> well, or, or the cat's like underneath a table because there are many like workbenches down there. And like you hear this like noise and you look over and you see this wall like right, descending. Right. Like, do I make a run for it or do I stay put? Indiana Jones style. Yeah. Like yeah. how many how many cats have been in my basement that I don't know about that were like, oh, I'm getting the hell out of here. Yeah. Make it a run for it. <laughs> also, that like I need that door is like on my list of things to fix. It's an old wooden door, so it probably weighs like a billion pounds. And yeah. I tell the kids like, and there's no sense safety sensors or anything on it. Like it's right. it's old school. So the kids like this is like our old door. Like you could walk underneath when it was closing and you'd break the beam and it would open right up. This one, like you walk underneath, no, it's just gonna crush you to death. That's what it's built for. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Okay. It's a big wooden guillotine, apparently. So. Fenestration. <laughs> and that's <Ta> <laughs> defenestration. A big wooden guillotine defenestration. It's when you defenestrate your head from your neck. Is that what it is? <laughs> Removing your head? No. Okay. Can you remember Please. how you think you've heard it used, though? I'm curious. No. no. I, I wish I could. And that's, I mean, I'm sort of digging at that. Like, I I know, I know that I, I know that I, yeah, I want to say it's definitely like one of those words I've heard. thing, but <laughs> no, no, that's wrong. Gary. I defenestrated the carrots, but then <laughs> put them in the stir fry. I, I was going to say, I'm pretty sure it's a thing you do to like meat though, but it sounds like something you might do to like chicken. That sounds like something I would bring to the table as like, as a red herring being like, haha, they'll never know meat related questions. <laughs> Because neither do I. <laughs> I. I trust that Gary would have Might. a better chance at that than I would. Yeah. We, uh, I think this week will will end up, I think just one day with meat at dinner. 
Katie has sort of redefined the menu a bit around here. We, uh, uh, we've we been looking at, um, I don't know if you've tried this, Allison, vegan meatloafs or vegan loafs, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Like there's like there's a there's a oh, we just print a recipe for uh like like a veggie and like like pumpkin seed loaf or something like is it like like lentils and stuff yeah yeah I think so yeah I mean I like meatloaf is never like this huge thing apparently it's a holiday thing I didn't even know that it, that people will eat meatloaf around the holidays. Uh, or like a seasonal like you know fall winter thing but like it, it was never like a huge thing and meatloaf was always like something that you just bought at a store um uh hmm. so or like i guess i guess i guess my stepmom made it for real sometimes just, just lots of ketchup and stuff but like it was never a huge thing so like it was it's not something that i'm like like the idea of like replacing that with like a veggie loaf is not something that i necessarily had any opinion yeah on. Uh as someone that eats meat, like if I were to stop eating meat, that would not be something I would need to find like a replacement for in my diet. Like,